بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم and welcome to another lesson of English subject for grade 2 Students, yesterday we did questions and answers of uh, the exercise. Today we are moving on to the next part uh, of uh, understanding the poem. In this part, they have, they have given you some hints and you have to guess the words just as you did in the other uh, chapter. In that chapter, you had to guess the words. Uh, but for that, they had given you some hint that the spelling should begin with B-O. This time, they have not given you any hint. You just have to find the meanings of these words. And those meanings should be present in the poem. Like they have given you some words and you have to find the words which have the same meaning as they have given. So let's start. Now this is question 2 of part A. What are they? Find these words in the poem. Better looking, better looking, better means more good, better means more good. Ya aap isko urdu mein keh sakte hain, zyada achha lagne wala, ek to achha lagne wala, that is good looking. But better looking means jo usse zyada achha lagye, better looking. So what was the word which was giving the same meaning in the poem? Very good. It was prettier. 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 Okay, when you are writing the answers on book, make sure that you use only pencils. You are not allowed to use bar points or other colors which are not removable. You should use only pencils on the book. The planet on which we live. The next sentence is the planet on which we live now do you know the name of the planet on which we are living the name of the planet on which we are living very good it is earth earth it is built to cross over a river it is built to cross over a river it is made to cross over a river what is made to cross over a, a river very good a bridge bridge now be careful about the uh, pronunciation of this word it is built 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 it is built to cross over a river. It is made to cross over a river. We can sail in these. We can sail in these. We can sail in these. Now here, um, we can see that uh, we can write ship also we can write boats but be careful that you have to write the plural form because they have said they have said we can sail in these these it is not singular we have to write s with the answer white and fluffy it floats in the sky something white and fluffy fluffy is soft uh, the thing which gives us a soft touch when you touch it it is soft just as the skin of um, cat the fur of the cat is fluffy so the thing which gives you a soft kind of feeling after touch so that is called fluffy fluffy white and fluffy it floats in the sky it sails in the sky. It sails in the sky. Okay. 
so what is that very good it is cloud after question number 2 we are moving on to part b part b working with words working with words join a word in a with a word in b to make a new word join a word in a means column a box a it is not a column it's a box a in box b you will have to pick one word from box a and you will have to pick one word from box b and make a new word but be careful that you are not allowed to pick a word of your choice you will just use the related word which is connected to it you cannot use any word from any box just find the related word and make a new word just as they have done one uh, one for you over plus top over top over plus top over top now you have to take words from this and that one i have made the same kind of boxes on board now so now i hope that you will be able to understand it better we will take a word from box a and we will take a word from box b then we are going to make a new word from it but for that i will take the word the first word and we will try to find the perfect match for the first word it is hair 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 now what is the match for this room here room correct no hair makeup hair makeup no hair pin hair pin yes this is the correct word hair plus pin makes hair pin hair plus pin makes hair pin hair pin hair pin hair pin hair pin now it's the turn of the second word post 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 room no post maker no post per chief no post way wrong post card very good post card post card this is the correct match for post and it is card post card post card post card post card post card now the third um, word which we have is text text now look at this box and find the perfect match for it you can have your time you can take your time text book text book text book the fourth word is class class very good room class room it was the easiest word class room the next word is shoe 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 maker shoe maker cobbler is also called a shoe maker a person who makes and mend and repair your shoes is called a shoe maker or a cobbler shoe maker shoe maker the next word is hand 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 we have only two words here two words are left that is kerchief and weight 
hand way is impossible so handkerchief 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 is a piece of cloth which is used for wiping our sweat or blowing our nose wiping our sweat or blowing our nose so the word is handkerchief handkerchief okay this is hand and this is kerchief but when they are joined together d becomes silent handkerchief handkerchief you will not read d in the complete word handkerchief door way doorway door way doorway door way doorway this was enough for today uh, today we did guess the word uh, question number 2 of part a and uh, part in part b we did question number 1 so we made new words by joining two smaller words so your homework for today is to write uh, this these words in your neat notebook you don't need to draw these boxes these boxes you will not draw these boxes you will just write these okay and i hope uh, when you start writing number 1 hair plus pen is equal to hair pen so your line will be finished so don't write anything after this you will write hair pen postcard textbook complete hair plus pen hair pen post plus card postcard text plus book textbook class plus room classroom then you will write number 5 after this in your page because you will have a lot of space you will not draw these boxes so you will have a lot of space here so after this you will write shoe plus maker shoe maker hand plus kerchief handkerchief door plus way doorway you will write all the words in one da, at one side you will not write anything here you will not write anything here okay one more thing that you have to note that i have written all these words with small letter there is no capital letter in them so you also have to write this in the same way i have written only this a capital this b is capital and this j is capital okay and here i have used a full stop start the sentence with capital and it up with a full stop and there are only two capital letters a and b and then you will start these words but every word is starting with small letter okay this was all for today i hope you learned a lot and uh, you try to make a few more words which are made by joining other words i am giving you some examples like gold fish gold fish hair brush hair brush bed room bedroom so you can also make such kind of words and uh, try to make your own words and add them into your homework uh, you will make three more words to make them 10 they are seven and you will make three more words to make them 10 that's your homework you will make your own words and uh, i hope your words will be correct this was all for today wish you best of luck have a nice day allah hafiz allahumma anfa'na bima 'allamtana وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما